Hello everyone and welcome back to RPG World. Uh, guys, today we try one game that it's for a very very long time on my wish list, on my library already, very long time, almost three years or something like that. But I didn't get the time to to try or uh, play until now. Now I got some time, and so I I will give a try to to this game. It's a Description from Steam, adventure, time travel, mystery, exploration. But from what I know, initially, this was a Skyrim mode. Please let me know in the comment below if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I think it was a Skyrim mode or something like that. Anyway, before we start, please like, subscribe to the channel will be very helpful because it's a brand new channel and every click is important for us. Uh, if you enjoy the game and uh, I will see interest on YouTube, maybe we'll do a full playthrough of this uh, of this game. We'll see. But until until then, let's get started. New game. <clears throat> Three people over four years. Conversation and exploration, not brute force. Interesting. Present day. Hey! You're alive! When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID. A phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Okay. Uh, uh what the difference? Okay, I don't know. It's nice to meet you. Oh, whoa, whoa. what I did? I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Uh, 25% faster when sprinting. No way to get... I have 10 bullets. I was searching for ancient ruins. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? Okay. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Uh, what? Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. Italy? This river is the Tiber. What can you tell me about this ruin? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. 
Have you tried calling calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. What's your oh, soul? there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? You're not even going to tell me your name. Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Why don't you want to tell me? All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Okay, Karen. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No, that's all. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? All right. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and... I don't know exactly what here, name I chose for I me. But I think you'll need it more than I will. A flashlight. This flashlight have a batteries? A backpack. Uh why I don't take this backpack? It means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city, hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Uh, I need to jump here. <laughs> okay. Have loot. Uh, 
always remember that you're watching a graffiti. Okay, that's weird. In a pose of lamentation. Roman gladiator. What could have made a gladiator free? Free? Uh, I don't know. Poor hick asne. What mean? She was begging for her life. Five the quick save, okay. Attempted to scramble away from something. From what? A dragon? I'm in a cave? A legionary in a state of terror. Very weird. A Roman woman who appeared to be praying for help that never can. golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al. How is that possible? What the heck? To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles Searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. Ah. In here, there are only two options. Death. Or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Why? Why are you here? What the hell is that whisper? And why all the statues are in shock? They are scared, all of them. Oh, 
begging his gods for mercy. Okay. A long, long time. This way. Okay, let's... Figure out how to return to your original time. To see the objective marker for a given quest, click the eye icon. Okay. Nice. Salve, friend. Salve. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Man, I put a name only R. Wait, are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? Shrine of Proserpina? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again! <laughs> You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time, who are you, and what were you doing in that shrine? I just come from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Okay. What's today date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. What year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? Archaeologist inside. 65 CE. CE? No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. Your law? Not laws, law. Uh -huh. There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our Magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Uh, okay. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. 
no idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in. Twenty-three. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Okay, uh, I'll come back. Right, stay clear I'll be now. back. Uh, if I were you, she's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Down she's a prostitute. Right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want, as long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind, Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. again. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. All right. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. Who's up these stairs? Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Oh. Okay, let's speak with this guy. Hello. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? A curious name. Very curious. I agree. Curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this 
wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. I just want to get out of here. In good time. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. We will change that. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, oh. the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have. So if I steal... Today I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Uh, what counts as a sin? An intelligent question. <laughs> there was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass? trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Bro, we are not in Rome. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Okay. Uh, don't you love 
a low slave ownership? Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Blood sports for entertainment. On occasion. But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory. Or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Of course. But with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities. And the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Well, I'm from, we consider these things to be abhorrent. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have yeah. made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. What did you mean when you said Proserpina sent me? Is a portal? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? I'm from two fucking thousand years in the future. Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Uh, 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 it all be turned into a golden statue. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How do the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Uh, I see human remains in the temple. I assume that was me. <laughs> if I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best <laughs> position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better.
Tell me what you really think. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. Uh, if I do this, it will help get me back to my own time. I don't think he can. If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? I think so. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? All right. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right, but I oh, don't think I'll do that. Thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Okay. Man, wait a second, let me save. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What the fuck I did, man? Ooh. Oh my god, man. What the fuck? All the statues are alive. I don't know which way to go. What's happened if I go to him?
I died. Uh, love the game. Um, let's see if you know. I don't want to do that yet. So. I don't feel for the moment. Let's see what these guys have to say. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Hey, well. I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. Uh -huh. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Uh. Do no way out of here. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid ah. rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Uh, when did you last see her? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. Yeah. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Uh, it is possible her lover was involved. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Sentia, Sentia, Sentila. Why are your names all so similar? <laughs> you really aren't from here, are you? <laughs> all women For real. women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor. But she is affectionately known as Centilla. <laughs> okay, it had sense. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister disappearing. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Okay.
Ave. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? No. Ask then. Mm, no, I, I cannot ask him Was about the uh, you wanted to Antilla. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Okay. Why I am here. I don't want to be here. Okay, small dick. Lucretia. Give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. Oh. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally, I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. That's a and now fucking I'll never shit rule. Poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or oh, why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Is there something uh, I can do to well, her? Unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetricum fututo and scratching his eyes out. I see what I can do. What do you think about the ball? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. That's right. I keep hearing the sad whispering. Is that normal? Oh no. Sorry. I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. 
But that was Nivia, and uh, she went a little mad. Anything about what? Can we talk about Julia? Sure. What do you want to know? Do you think she was poisoned or was self-inflicted? Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Do you know what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Is there any reason why she might have wanted to die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas's villa, and they are quite secretive. Hmm. Gladly. Do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Ah. Uh. Can I take it? Okay, I don't break the rules. If I take that. Ingredient. A pinch of salt. Warm water. One pound of flour. Can I make my, myself bread? Yes, I can. Maybe I can make this guy to give hey, me. Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Ugh. Okay. Things to buy once I escape. Villa on the Aventine Rome. Two holes. Seat of Senate. Four horse chariot. Villa on the Bay of Ma Naples. Ten horse chariot. Twelve slave girls. Pale and. Okay. Yeah, you. You dream very good, bro.
You have ambitious dreams. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia. But we just have to carry on, don't we? Who are you going to vote for? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Certainly. I can influence the vote. It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but... What I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. He didn't ban the weapons? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Thank you, friend. Do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Really? Oh yeah, gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back though. I need some selfie on this one. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand in Oh my god, you are crazy, bro. That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? <laughs> oh man, what's wrong with you? It's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Did you hear yeah. that? Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navier on our hands. What happened she to She claimed the statues were whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphia or not? Hmm. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Very well. Another time. Uh, man, how to seal if I seal everyone else? Are you kidding me? What the hell are that butterflies? Greetings and salutations. This part of my shop is off limits, even for you, my sartorial friend. Who are you? Greetings, I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. Yeah? I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. I know. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. <laughs> I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? Uh... 
You'll never believe me if I told you. now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better friends. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? What do you think about the Golden Rule? Ah, yes. The many <laughs> shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. Why do you say Have that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth, so that it became hot and dry, nothing grew, the grain turned to empty husks, and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands, until at last the other gods were forced to act, lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The Golden Rule has merely brought it into focus. Uh, what can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. Okay. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. Uh, I've seen it happen. Ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who are you going to vote that, for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. But of course. Do you know we are out of here? Not so loud. What are you playing at? Did I say something wrong? Have you not been told about the last attempt? The last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Why don't you tell me? Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is How do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Why it, it was, has anyone done that yet? They have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice sink the entire city, and that, tragically, is where their tale ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place, and so I say it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Okay. Got it. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> okay, man, if I steal all this gold...
No random loot. Why is that hard to make a fucking bow for that guy? Touch some wood. We have the resources. This is the way that I come in. Yeah. Man, I, the fucking golden rules, if you can steal and you don't get poked. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Livia! Would you stop muttering like Madeir over a cauldron? You scare away my customers. They follow their traits, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Okay guys, we stop here for the moment, I don't want to make the episodes too long, very interesting, basically it's a Sherlock Holmes in the medieval era, <laughs> looks like a lot of investigations, a lot of time, uh, talking, it's not a action focused game with a lot of combat and that kind of stuff i don't know if what's happened if you break the rules and uh, you have maybe you can have a weapon i don't know if you can destroy that statue anyway i will play more to see uh more for for this uh, game by the way until now looks good and looks intriguing interesting something different yeah we will see more uh please guys let me know in the comments below if you want me to play a series of this uh, of this game with more episode to advance more in the story in the quest line etc uh if i if some of you want me to upload more uh, gameplay for this game i will do that okay and remember like subscribe comment below subscribe is very important because it's a brand new channel and every click it's important for me thank you very much let me know in the comments below what you think about the game tips for me if you've already played the game because uh, it's a three years old game already and i'm sure a lot of you already played thanks again and see you next time bye